Hi, welcome to this video today, which is on the uh, 23rd of November. It's Friday, we're just going to be looking at what we consider to be a really high probability trade setup, which is NZDCAD, and we'll go to the charts in a moment. Now, in terms of NZDCAD, uh, what we're going to be looking at is a trend reversal technique. Now, we did use it in a video uh, a few weeks ago on CHFJPY, which I'll also cover in this tutorial. Now, in terms of CHFJPY and NZDCAD now, they're almost identical trade setups for us. CHFJPY so far up around 400 pips in that one. I think NZDCAD could give us, hopefully, a similar result. But this is a trade setup we'll go for every time we see it because the risk to reward is so good. Now, it's a very simple technique which you can put in your strategy if you wish to. Uh, logic is very easy to understand. There's nothing complicated about it at all. But over time, the odds are on your side if you do this setup correctly. Okay, so right. What we're going to do is go and look at the charts. I'm going to start with uh, NZD CAD, obviously. Um, do keep in mind, though, when I'm doing my analysis, it is my sorry, my view as of right now. It can change in line with the market conditions. If you want all our trading techniques and our daily technical analysis of 14 major Forex pairs, you can simply click on the link beneath this video and get life access to our member center. Right, let's go and take a look at the charts. All right, on the daily chart of NZDCAD, I'll draw my technical levels in a moment. Now, just uh, for new viewers, when we're looking for a big trend change, and it's been a big trend up, uh, we will always use the COT, Commitment to Traders, uh, report to alert us to the trend change. If you're not uh, familiar with the report, you can learn more about it by clicking uh, the video on the link beneath this one, or the video beneath this one, sorry. Uh, just watching this video through right now. Just keep in mind what we want to do is always trade with smart money commercial hedgers when their positions diverge away from speculators. I just want to look at how the trends, uh, uh, sorry, the trend has evolved and how the COT uh, is alerting us to a trend change. Now, down here below the 84 level, the commercials buy really heavily, speculators heavily short and adding to short. So we think it's going to break in favour of the commercials. It does. Up we go, a little bit of a dip. Keep going up, really nice move. Then we get above the 89 level and the groups reverse. So the commercials who've been long all this way up suddenly take out all their long hedges and go short. At the exact same time as the speculators who've been short here go long. That's alerting us uh, to the possibility of a reversal. Now, what we do do is we cut up to the 90 level and kind of struggling just around the number, holding it, but not really getting up to 91. Then you get that candle there, hits 91, a round number, and reverses back. Now, in terms of when that happens, you hit a round number and come back, especially when you the COT behind you, that is significant um, because the round numbers are where all the order flow is. I've done a full video on round numbers and their importance in Forex trading. No more buyers, okay? Now we've got above it a bit on the left, but uh, we now think that's exhaustion, okay? But we won't just sell on that blue. It's been a big move up. So we want a little bit more confirmation. We'll use the next round number for confirmation because yeah, there could be buy orders here for the dip. Okay, it's been a nice move up. You can see there, you've got some bodies all lined up at uh, 90. Sorry if I get my line straight. But we break through and we come in just basically through the number at 89.80. Okay, so just get clear of the round number. There's a trajectory line in there. We've got double trend line resistance. Now I think, yeah, maybe we could get back above 90. I just think uh, there's little upside left, okay? I just don't see 91 being taken out on a closed basis. So what you want is to stop back behind 91, okay? Now don't put it right near the round number. It can always poke through, okay? 
I would say at least 30 pips back. Uh, I've gone 50 actually. Um, give it a little bit of room. And yeah, we're short, we're off the lows, but uh, we were going to see where this one goes to. Now, where do I think it might go to? Well, from my reading of the CRT, you should get a breakdown to 86, where we did that big push off on that blue, okay? So basically, near enough 400 pips, okay? However, I think we're going to run all the way back down to chart lows. That's based more upon my reading of the big fundamentals, okay? Big fundamentals point to the CAD going forward being the strongest of the commodity currencies. And if you look at the uh, weekly chart, the big trend is down. This is just a significant bounce, okay? So if we come to first target, that's three to one in terms of risk to reward, and obviously five to one down to the second target. So all this setup really is, is the COT alerts you. Um, yeah, if you've got a big trend, the COT will alert you to the trend change. You look for one round number to hold, come through the second, stop back behind the round number where you saw the initial rejection. Now, how simple is that? It's actually very simple, okay? But this trade setup for us has worked time and time again. I'm just going to show you um, CHFJPY. We did that in the video um, a few weeks ago. Uh, and it's worked out really nicely. I know a lot of people have still got that trade on, so I'll just update it as well. But uh, just for new viewers to our videos, we do no hindsight trading at all. We always do uh, trades as we see them at the time. So you can see if yeah the trade makes money or not. We can look at our playlist as well. Now, we obviously have our losers. But generally, on the, so when we do COT, our winners are way bigger. Okay? And you need those big profits, 400, yeah, 500, 600 pips or more, boost your bottom line profits, give you a risk. Yeah, with normal market volatility, about 100 to 150 pips. There's no point in going for like, yeah, smallish profits as I would call them. You've got to go for the bigger profits, okay? Right, let's have a look at CHF. JPY very quickly. All right, uh, we're on the chart of first uh, CHF JPY, it's a very similar setup to the one uh, that we just looked at. Now, in terms of the commercials and speculators down here, the commercials bought really heavily and speculators sold into this one 11 level. It breaks up, favor the commercials, bit of sideways. As soon as we get above 116, the commercials get rid of all of their long position um, and speculators come in to buy. Now the commercials didn't really come in to sell aggressively but um, the fact they just got rid of their longs so quickly just kind of alerted us uh, to a possible reversal. Big blue, there it is, it hits the round number, similar candle and actually if I took the chart a little bit more left it would have made the candles too small but there is uh, a resistance level at 118. So we come off that. You don't want to sell the blue, you want some red for confirmation. There's the red. And then to the downside, okay? Now, what you get effectively is um, a 500 pip fall, and then you've got a little bit of a retracement, okay? Now, in terms of this, for anyone who's still got it, we've still got uh, some of this trade on, I think we're going lower. And uh, there's been no move by the commercials to buy this despite the big fall. Now there's the key resistance level, okay, 114. Coming up to test it here, failing, had a half-hearted attempt there. Trajectory, 113. 20 day moving average is sitting there. If we break through that, then we're going down, stop behind 114, well cleared the round number. Where are we going? Down to 109, then possibly 102. So yeah, 102 target is obviously the longer term one. But if we uh, fall to 109, that's another 400 pips. And in terms of, yeah, obviously I pointed out how we traded the reversal okay 
and obviously it was a nice move down with a bit of retracement, but yeah, big trends last a long time. And yeah, this is in our guest pair section, obviously. I'm just really bearish of this uh, longer term. I think we've got a long way to go on the downside. So if anyone's still in it, uh, I am still a bearish, a very bearish. Anyone who likes the trade said, I think it's a good risk reward. Uh, just a little bit of uh, more downside through the 113 20 day moving average. And I think she'll be traveling south. And yeah, like I said, uh, I think on the previous chart we did, it, just a very simple way of trading, looking for the exhaustion candles into round numbers, looking for the next round number to give way. And uh, with COT back up, uh, it's normally a, a really good risk reward trade setup. So that is the video for today. Thank you very much for watching me as usual. Take care. Have a good day.